answer your question about yes it got fixed a while back ago and now you're out of pain well what created that problem like what happened did you stop going to the chiropractor Week we're going to go over a couple of things that we've been getting a lot of, especially at the beginning of the year. We're also going live too for all a lot of you busy entrepreneurs and parents. Now is the time to be asking some questions generally about things of your health, maybe your child's health. Um, we're going to be going over a couple of those. So if you get those coming along, go ahead and send those to me. If you have anybody that's a friend or family that you may need to be hearing this message, go ahead and have them uh, share, share this message with them and have them come on live, ask some questions now. It won't cost you a dime. Um, but go ahead and hit me a thumbs up if you guys are watching that will give me some idea that who's live with me and we can talk to you guys now. Um, one of the first questions I got was from Jeff. He said, I'd been going to a chiropractor for about 10 years or 10 years ago and everything got worked out then. And over time I started gradually noticing more tightness and more stiffness. And then over more time, out of nowhere, I began having pain. And so my question is, is why did this begin to hurt again? once it was fixed great question jeff uh, a lot of times what happens uh, the great first part of that is that, that you're actually feeling pain i know that's not what you wanted to hear um, but the big thing is that your body is designed to feel pain and why is that so we stop what we're doing basically if you put your hand onto a hot stove what do you want to do you want to take it off and if you didn't know how that pain was going on when you had your hand on the stove guess what you wouldn't know that you're getting third degree burns and you're bleeding out so we are designed to feel pain, so we stop immediately what we are doing at that point in time. So good news, but the bad news is that a lot of times when we start feeling pain, most of our patients that find us have problems where they can't get out of pain, and that part is not normal. And so you know, a lot of times when you start feeling some of these types of pain, maybe it could be tightness, it could be achiness, it could be stiffness, and the more gradual buildup of things, that's probably where things were starting to begin. And then finally, over one day, you just tweak something and it got real worse. So um, the big thing that I'm going to kind of go over with you guys is some very scientific terminology is how in the world do I get stuck? I don't know, very scientific. But bottom line is that our bodies will get stuck because of things that we do to it. And we're going to go over that here in a second of how can we get stuck. The problem is that once we do, our body stops moving normally. And when we stop moving normally, that's when we start having more of an electrical issue, maybe more of a nerve issue, if that's something that you've heard in the past. But more stuckiness, lack of motion, guess what? More electrical issues. And that's how we start to begin problems. I know you guys like my scientific terminology, but we're going to keep it simple this morning. Um, overall, though, when we start getting stuck, and that happens in a few different ways, and so to answer your question about, yes, it got fixed a while back ago and now you're out of pain. Well, what created that problem? Like what happened? Did you stop going to a chiropractor? Um, I didn't get that. So imagining yes. So your body quit moving the way that it was supposed to. So what ended up happening over time is that we started creating some degree of probably a trauma. And a lot of times we have micro traumas and or macro traumas. And the two difference between the two is that your micro traumas are your repetition things you do all day, every day. So if you're stuck at a desk and you're just heads over your hands and your keyboards up here, you know, your throat all day, every day, and or you're hammering nails all day long, that repetition of absolute exercise like that actually creates a problem for you if you, you know, don't get that, you know, addressed and fixed pretty quickly. More of the macro traumas that we talked about, that's going to be like if you fell off the ladder, you got in a car accident, something, maybe a contact sport, and you said, hey, when I did this, this is when this began. And that's probably going to fall into that macro traumas. Most people are falling into this category where they are having more micro traumas. You know, the other types of things that end up occurring over time that shows up in the body is a different type of um, issue that gets us stuck. And that's going to be more of our thoughts. Don't judge me if I didn't spell it right. 
but our thoughts are more of an emotional style trauma or emotionally induced trauma where you know it doesn't have to be anything extremely significant but maybe you're just busy at work all the time maybe you're just so stressed at work all the time or maybe that you are going through a big emotional issue or maybe it's a financial issue like you lost a loved one maybe you're just finances just completely out of whack and it's constantly just getting at you and those type of emotional things show up in the body and it does allow us to get stuck so therefore we need to start working on how to get these type of thoughts taken care of and get your body unstuck too one of the last ones that we'll see uh, we got more of our toxins that we end up shoving into our body and that's more than one way these toxins isn't just from um, medicines is the overutilization of medicines and a lot of times people end up finding me they end up getting a whole pill bag full of, you know it sounds like a bunch of Tic Tacs they're walking in and so when you're taking these type of medicines all the time it does create more of a toxic environment and one of the things that we end up seeing hey Brian good to see you man thanks for joining in buddy uh, go ahead and give us a thumbs up man uh, one of the things that we end up seeing though with these toxins is that it doesn't just have to be these medicines also it is absolutely some of these things that we're eating and drinking on a regular basis. So if you're drinking Cokes and sweet tea, I know how we are in the Southeast, we love our sweet tea, but anything that's gonna be in our system like that on a regular basis isn't good. And so we need to start putting those things down and start putting more water into our system. Um, but the other thing too is the, what are we eating on a regular basis? Man, if we're just eating hot dogs, pizza, and all that junk all the time, it is getting into us and it is creating a toxic environment and it does show up into the body and you'll actually see a hormone that's called cortisol cortisol is the bad stress hormone that basically says you know hey I'm real stressed out because of all these things that are going on well everything bad that goes with that too well guess what usually high blood pressure right well high blood pressure doesn't do anything good either so what ends up happening when we're starting to eat a whole bunch of junk well it's raising up our blood pressure and cholesterol and so we end up having all of these type of issues that are always in our life. You're always going through some degree of micro trauma. You know, where you're working all day. You know, your thoughts, you know, what's stressing you out all day. And then what are we eating and drinking and pumping into our system all day? All of those different things play a part into how you get stuck again. And so it's that, you know, great that about 10 years ago, Jeff, that you said, hey, I got fixed. I didn't have any more issues. I had more motion, less pain or no pain at all. And now all of a sudden it's like things are creeping back in. Well, you're facing this in our entire life and it's just not you, it's everybody. So I hope that answers your question of why in the world would happen to you when you first got fixed. But yes, we see a lot of people that go to chiropractic um, and get adjusted on a regular basis because it will help you. Our job is to help you get unstuck. Real, real simple, real scientific, I know. But those are the things that we want to do, and that's how we are able to help. And so this can be at any age. We see kiddos from you know the very first weeks of their life because sometimes coming into the world is just as stressful as being in the world. And if you have any type of questions, do not hesitate to ask. I love helping uh, anybody that's going to be following these categories, whether you've gone to a chiropractor in the past, whether you've seen me in the past. If it's been a while since you've seen me, we still love you. Come back. We'd love to help you get back to health. If you've never been to chiropractic or any type, other type of chiropractic care, love to help you. We take those cases all the time and it answers a lot more questions. Unfortunately, I'm not able to go through everything right now and dive into those things. But if you give us a call, I'll be happy to get you into the clinic and we'll go over a lot more things in more detail too. Uh, until then, guys, uh, stay healthy and we look forward to seeing you guys next week.